Welcome back after break. We hope you had a restful break and are ready to end the year strong. Today we have information about the testing coming up. This is more, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Michael. And I'm Bryce. To start our show, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We hope you had fun doing the scavenger hunt before break. Thank you, Student Council, for coming up with this idea. We have a short show for you today, but some very important information. We are going to send for this week's general announcements. Thanks. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Eric. Here are this week's lunch specials. Monday is sp spicy chicken sandwiches, Bosco sticks. Tuesday is hamburger chicken nuggets. Wednesday is spicy chicken and Bosco sticks. Thursday is French toast and sausage. And Friday is spicy chicken sandwich and pizza. Next Monday will be in group picture day. 6th and 7th graders, please make sure to have your schedules picked for next year. If you need help, you can watch the interview from our last show or talk to your counselor. Tomorrow is our first day of state testing. 8th graders will be undertaking the PSAT 8-9. Here is Mr. Bromo with some important reminders. Hi, I'm Ruben and I'm here with Mr. Bromo to learn about the testing coming up. And what subjects are students tested on? So our 8th graders will be taking the PSAT on the Tuesday we return from spring break in English and in math. And then later that week, they'll be taking the M-STEP in science and social studies. Our 6th and 7th graders take the M-STEP in English and math. And so all of those tests are kind of spread out over the weeks. Each grade level is kind of at a different time. So what's your students bring or not bring? So with all of our testing coming up in the next few weeks, it's important that students come prepared each day. And so whether it's the PSAT or MSTEP, students need to um, leave extra things at home. So on those days, if you have to bring your cell phone, you're going to have to turn it in to your teacher. And with PSAT, you're going to need pencils, calculator, because that's a paper pencil test. MSTEP's done on the computer, so you're going to need your Chromebook charged. I think it's just really important that students take, a, take the time to look at the schedule ahead of time, know when tests are coming up, and listen to their teachers to be prepared as much as possible on test days. So why do students need to do the testing and why should students try their best? Great question, Ruben. St uh, the state testing that we have to do in middle school is super important for kids. It's required that you guys participate and take these tests, whether you're in eighth grade or sixth grade. and when students are taking the test, we really just want kids to do their best because you do get the results. Your parents get an opportunity to see how you are doing and see what things you still do need to work on as you kind of prepare for high school and beyond. And what are some testing tips to make sure that students are prepared? Students really can help be prepared for the test by doing a few things. Number one, just making sure that they're getting good sleep the night before the test and coming to school ready, um, eating breakfast or lunch or whatever time their test is during the day to kind of make sure that they're feeling well and prepared. And then any materials, so if it's a calculator, pencils, any of that stuff, to really just make sure that you are have everything you need in front of you to feel successful. And then I think at the end of the day, just trying your personal best. And that looks different for everybody. And we just expect that kids come and ready are ready and have a good attitude about all things testing related. Thank you, Mr. Bummel, for letting us interview you. And thank you, Gavin, for filming. Great job, Gavin. Students, thanks so much for listening. We hope everyone had a great break. And then as we return and do all of this testing, again, we just hope that everyone's able to do their best and have a positive attitude. And we're going to finish this year on a great note. Thanks. Thank you, students, in advance for doing your best and being prepared. Your help being on time will help the testing go smoothly. When testing is done, eighth graders will return to their second hour and will also have lunch. <coughs> lunch times will be adjusted because of testing, and your academy or second hour teacher will let you know when that will be. Now over to sports. Hi, I'm Kamarian. And I'm Andrew. Spring sports started before break. Games will start next week. Remember, all athletes will be doing antigen testing this week to be able to participate in games.
back now back to the anchors thanks for helping us stay safe by wearing your mask and social distancing have a great week thanks for watching bye, bye.